When it comes to enticing bright students from abroad to study here in Canada, Canada ranks behind the U.S. and the U.K. Now, a federally funded program is hoping to change that by offering internships for international students at Canadian universities. Joining us this morning is Laura Wood. She's the director international of MyTax Global Link, the research organization that matches students with projects. Also here are three students taking advantage of the program. Mega Tak is from India, and Mariana Gumeres is uh, as well as Mariana Bora, are both from Brazil. And it's great to have you all here. Thank you. It's great to be so here. tell us about this program. So the MyTax Global Link program was created in 2009 as a way to recruit international undergraduate students for summer research projects. Uh, it's a competitive program, and students are chosen to participate in these projects under the supervision of a Canadian supervisor at one of over 30 universities across the country. Isn't that interesting? So what would these girls uh, had to have done in order to make it into this program? Well, from home, they select a project on our website, and submit their grades, submit a letter of references, etc. And our science and review team selects, along with the professors, hand selects them from thousands of applicants each year. And that must be a process in itself it is. when you're dealing with that many applicants. Absolutely. What is it that you're looking for? What, what caught your eye? Uh, well, we're looking for top-notch students who are doing extremely well. We're talking about the top, say, five 5% in their countries, essentially. Uh, we're looking for people who have the background to work on these projects, and for people who will also ultimately, hopefully, come back to Canada for graduate studies and stay here for their careers. All right, so introduce us to these ladies, and then we'll go through the projects, okay? Sure, absolutely. All right. So first we have Meg Hattak, who's from India, and uh, she's working in the Signal Analysis and Research Lab at Ryerson University with Professor Sridhar Krishnan, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about how biomedical signals can show or help us show uh, whether people are suffering from arthritis. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hi. Nice uh, to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, the main aim of my project is to basically capture signals from the human body. So I have a few electrodes here, and we use this uh, device, which is called the bioradio, which captures these signals. And once these signals are captured, we transmit it to a processing device or a laptop. And then uh, the signal analysis and research lab at Ryerson, we have tried to develop a software, which is also the project on which I have worked on from my tax global link which basically analyzes these signals and it helps uh, to tell whether these signals are normal or abnormal. So they can be from the heart, they can be from the brain and the muscles. So basically the whole system is designed to assist the doctors mm -hmm. and also for the people to know a priori whether they have some abnormality in that particular body part. So basically we are also aiming at making an Android application for the cell phones so that people can uh, just see the results that whether there is some abnormality or not using these kind of graphs which are available here you can see so there are some frequency and amplitude plots which will tell you whether this is normal or not so I think it's a really important system yeah. because it will basically provide people with home health care technology. So great practical uses for it. Thank you so much. It's, you. it's quite impressive. Great. And next? Next we have Mariana Gumarais, who's working on the Inclusive City Project with Professor Leila uh, Farah at Ryerson University. Yeah, thank you, Laura. Uh, so the project focuses on social sustainability, and we explore how an edible and participatory garden in a shared space could, uh, can increase the security in a community. So we started the study researching about uh, youth-related crime in Toronto and, and in the city of Sao Paulo, as well as urban agriculture initiatives in both cities. Uh, and here is an, uh, an example of an uh, organization back in Sao Paulo okay. uh, called Cities Without, Hungry, Without Hunger, uh, that's been very uh, successful um, in the peripheries of Sao Paulo. That's amazing. And there, yeah. is, is there, have you seen a crime reduction as well? Yeah, right. exactly. Putting, putting people to use. This yeah, is great. That was the, the, the first this part is, of the this research. is Flemington Park uh, yeah, in, in exactly. the GTA in this Toronto. For, então, uh, so for the second part of the research, we worked with uh, young people uh, from far neighborhoods in Toronto, uh -huh. uh, uh, Flemingo, Tarncliffe, O'Connor, and Victor Park. Uh -huh. And we, together with them, we developed um, proposals for a new community garden in Flemingo. So. Uh, in those images, uh, you can see uh, their proposals. I I made those images based on their on their envisioning. Right. For how the they envisioned garden. it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. 
That is so, excellent. Thank you so much. Really innovative things. Okay, and we have another Mariana. Yes, another Mariana, also from Brazil, who's okay. working with Professor Scott Thomas on a blood vessel study at University of Toronto. Yeah, uh, the study I'm contributing with is going to evaluate uh, the healthiness of the arteries and veins, trying to see if there's a connection between them. I mean, if you have healthy, healthy arteries, will you have healthy veins? So this is the device we use to measure the pulse wave velocity to check on the arterial health. Um, the high velocity indicates a stiff artery, which is less healthy. Uh, to use the device, we connect it to a computer, and then uh, we have to first feel the, the radial artery on your pulse and place this probe right on top of your, of your artery. When you place it, you have a waveform on the computer screen, and with that wave, you can see um, if, your health, if your arteries are health or not. There we have an image. The one in the left side is a healthy artery, and the one in the right side is a stiff artery. Right, so there's, a, there's something to be said for preventative health with this, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The main difference between the two of them is that the second one is higher, which means that a higher pressure load to the heart, uh, and the heart has to work harder to push the blood out. So it, it increases the risk for cardiovascular diseases. Yeah, and we ha what we have to do to avoid that it's exercising. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know what? This is excellent. Uh, wow. Just amazing work, ladies. Keep up the great work. Enjoy your time here.